In this episode, we're going to be looking at the package BB Freeze, which allows us to create binaries, much like Py2Xy did in our previous video. BB Freeze will also work on Linux and Windows. Uh, we'll be using it on Windows for this particular one. However, when you create a binary on Linux, the result will only run on machines that have the same hardware architecture and version of libc, which limits its usefulness on Linux. It should also be no noted that BBFreeze only works with Python versions 2.4 through 2.7. Uh, you can use easy install or pip to install the BBFreeze package onto your system. It also includes egg support, so it, it can include egg dependencies in your binary, which Py2x cannot. Uh, I noticed when I installed BBFreeze that it actually failed when I was using pip and you had to install uh, Microsoft's um, Python 2.7 compiler to get it to work correctly. And even then, it had to install additional dependencies during that process that it installed. So you may have to go through the install process two or three times to get it installed. All right, so let's go ahead and go through a couple of examples of creating executables using bbfreeze. All right, so our first step is to actually create a file to turn into an executable. So I've got one. So just a config file creation tool using config object. It's actually two create config functions in here. We'll be using the second one, which creates a Sony INI file, basically. And then we have a getter that we can also use. All of this code is kind of redundant, but it kind of just gives you different examples to play with. So let's go ahead and run it, make sure everything works the way we want it to. It runs, it looks like it didn't have any errors. We have a sample config. It looks like it has what we want in it. So now we just want to create an executable. So to do that, we have to open up a command prompt and cd into the right directory which happens to be documents. And then you just type pbfreeze space in your config file name. And hopefully if you run this, you'll get a bunch of output. It thinks a little bit. Looks like it's adding various things, applies functions and whatnot, and then it wrote stuff out. So if we go back and look in our explorer, we'll see that we have a dist folder. And inside of there, we have an application called config1. So if we run this, it blinks, you didn't see anything, and you have a sample config file in here. So it appears that it worked the way we wanted it to. You should probably run this using the command prompt. So if there are any errors, you can actually see them. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So we have config in here. Let's just try running it. As you can see, we had no errors. So I think it works correctly. And we can actually move on and look at how to create a user interface that, oh, that we can then turn into an executable using bbfreeze. All right, so what we'll just do is we'll use the example from last time, which is this code that creates this wonderful exe. You notice it still says PyDirectX example, but it'll still work for what we want to use it for. Let's go ahead and open it up so you can see what it looks like. All right, so basically we have some WX Python code that goes through and creates a bunch of labels and a bunch of text controls and lays them out for us appropriately. You're quite welcome to look at this or you can go download the code from uh, the Python 101 website actually. So anyway, to create this, we actually need to create a setup.py file. So let's go ahead and do that too. Let's go back to libraries. Documents. I'm just going to get rid of this dist folder before we get confused. We don't want it to have any problems deleting or doing anything to that one. Oops, our command file is still in there. Okay. Um, let's see. Whoops. Go back in there. Of course, it doesn't show what I want it to, but. Let's delete this again. All right. 
So anyway, let's go ahead and create our file that we wanted to create. So in this case, we're not even going to use this details. We're just going to import from BB Freeze. So from BB Freeze, import freezer. Just gonna copy some code in here so I don't get any syntax errors. So F freezer. We're gonna actually turn change our disk to do to BB binary. Add the script sample app.py and F. This will actually actually this is going to um, need to be changed. Let's make this example.py and save that. And we'll get there eventually. We'll just call this BB setup. Alright. So now we'll just go back and we'll try running this and see what happens. So we'll uh, just run Python BB setup. And hopefully it'll work. As usual, it has to think a little bit. It has some warnings that it can't find certain files, which could be a problem. We may have to include those specifically. It's trying to find that funny DLL again that Python depends on, or WebEx Python depends on. All right, so it thinks it did something. Let's see if we can get it to work. So we have a BB binary file. It does have an example, so if we run this, that actually does work. So it didn't actually need those that DLL that it thought it needed, or it included it in some other odd way. If you do get those errors and you don't want to, you can actually put that ex uh, that DLL be, uh, in right beside your Python code, and it should grab it automatically. All right, so we just learned how to create an executable using BB Freeze. Our next step is to look at a slightly more advanced setup.py file for bbfreeze because it does have a lot of options. So let's do that next. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up another Python file that I've created. In this case, it's bb setup2. And here's our more complicated version. So as you can see, you may still import freezer. We have includes and excludes, much like we did before with py2xe. As you can see, it's still excluding various stuff like BSDDB, the curses library, email, various debugging stuff, TK, uh, TK enter related stuff. Then we end up creating a class based on Freezer instead of the way we did before. So this time we actually call the distribution folder dist instead of BB dist. Add our includes and excludes. Add the script that we want. We tell it that it's a GUI only instead of telling it that it could be a command type file or a console file. You'll notice that when we ran that script earlier, or the executable earlier, it popped up a command pr uh, prompt behind it. Let's run that real quick. You'll see that right here. If you do GUI only, like we're doing in this, that'll get rid of that command prompt. Uh, we turn off compression, we include the Python interpreter, and then we run it. So that's basically what's going on there. Uh, the BB free package also handles recipes and includes several examples. However, they're not documented very well. So feel free to study them yourself as an exercise. At this point, you should know the basics of using BB freeze to create binaries for your own programs. I noticed that when you ran it, it ran considerably slower in producing the WX Python executable compared with Py2XE. So you'll have to experiment to determine which tool you like the best for creating your own binaries. Have fun and I look forward to seeing you next time.